Hello everybody. Um, welcome to a new first impression. This time I'm looking at Hacknet, uh, which is on sale today. And there's something weird going on here, or special I should say, because it's a good thing. This game was published in 2015 or released in 2015. Now this year they added a quite good DLC apparently. Uh, it's got mostly positive reviews. Everybody's uh, saying they're, they've been blown away by it. And uh, they've also recently, this week, uh, maybe even today, added workshop support including a special uh, extensions tool that lets you develop your own story, gameplay, uh, uh, and share that with the community. So that's that's I always like those kinds of things. Now uh, it says something like login no accounts here. I'm guessing I'll have to go with new session instead. So let's go total biscuit and watch or look at the settings. Nothing really special here. So got a whole lot of resolutions. Quite a few languages, and it's got some uh, interesting post effects. So, new session. Uh, Hacknet username. Well, let's go with this password. I don't know. Um, I think that should. Okay, we'll, we'll do it again. Present once created. Session language cannot be changed. Uh, session language. Uh, right. Oh, nice. You guys reading along? Boot complete. Okay. So, I don't know if any of you ever heard of the game Uplink. I used to play that way back when. And this is apparently a spiritual successor, according to some. Though quite different. But it's got the same thing going on, you know, hacking. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Okay. Wow, that's uh, some sound effect for that. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on a network map. Connect to your own computer on the map by clicking the green circle. Oh, that's me. Okay, interesting. That's not my IP address, uh, address guys. That's in-game. Just so you know. Good work. The first thing to do on any system is scan it for adjacent nodes. This will re reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now. By pressing the scan network button on the display module. Wait, what? Oh, that one. <laughs> this is okay. That should be all you'll need from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. There. Where is the terminal? It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. Okay. Software Interactive. This virtual machine's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run and typing it out uh, by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open 
reports can be analyzed using the probe or nmap command. Analyze the computer you are currently connected to. Alright. Oh, fun stuff. It's got a secure shell opened. FTP opened. Interesting. Oh, they're not open. Open ports required for crack. Okay. Here you can see the active port, active security, and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it's possible to crack this computer using the program port hack. Okay. Let's, uh, shall we go on Unix? No, it's just. That's not Unix at all. But okay, we'll do that. Uh, congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes to locate additional computers. Do this using the scan command. Okay. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. Also, folders in the current directory. Is that like that? Yeah, it is. Navigate to the bin folder. Okay. To view the contents of the current folder you are in, the com you are in, use the command ls. There are no programs here, but you should look at config.txt um, in case it contains useful. Can I go? Uh, it's probably not Nano. I like Nano. Um, been pr using Debian a lot lately, so it's probably like that. Uh, no. Uh, what's the other one? I don't know. Just like that. Okay, then let's press that. Okay, so we this oh we we can maybe do this. We can actually do that. Interesting. Look at config of text. Uh Okay, so what am I? Not porn. <laughs> Serious documents. <laughs> System textures. I'll top enable, yes. Resolution. Behaviors enable. Twirl, thrust, helicopter. What the hell? What am I looking at? Continual spawning, yes. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. Maybe the textures folder. Um, well, I I've done that. I needed to do it like that. Okay, so that's weird. So just more wasn't good enough, that's... Oh, they want me to use cut. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Move to the log. Um... And you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Uh, is this on my own system? Uh, we'll go find it.
So we go like that, and then there we go. Interesting. Okay, so, and I seem to have an email. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will, but if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped. There's no way out and not enough time, and I need your help. There's something you need to take care of first, the faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node, it should be green in your net map. And then find and delete the security tracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. I hurry. Okay. Less. Um, less. Um, what? Okay. Oh, here. There we go. Great, it should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Sports hack alone just isn't going to cut it. On most modern computers you'll find not once with anything worth looking at anyway you should start by checking up on a friend of mine he goes by viper awful i know he's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box but he always seems to get a hold of useful no a coat you should have no trouble getting into his files finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge you can for the most part ignore the generic files Stuff that gets logged or saved by program, IRC logs and the like. Custom name things like .exe files are what you want to look out for. Download any files you can you can using uh, the command scp. Good luck. Reply again. We are done. Okay. Um. Let's add that one. Let's see. Uh, I don't need this. I'll keep that open for now. Let's connect to this one and then connect. Um, oh, I'm already connected. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay. Was like that, right? Yeah. Okay, we're in. Uh, can I like close this one? Oh, uh, okay, this works too. Let's, uh, let's copy that one. Um, SCP SSH. Crack dot action. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Mm. Should we mess up his boot? Nah, it's okay. Let's uh YouTube to, to check out. Okay, interesting. Mm. Want a refund? I'm sorry, sir, but we cannot refund based on change of mind. Might I suggest you that you re enlist, re -list the item on J Bay? <laughs> I want to list the item in your demo auction site. Told you I accidentally hit the bit button instead of the watch button. So 
sorry, sir, but your policy, yeah, but our policy doesn't cover accidentally button presses. Except that the penetrator 9000 is yours. <laughs> Uh, make your rudest day. Uh, then start with fooling around, you know, and then uh, what? Spit out it there, and it's sooner than expected. Like clothes still on sooner. Dude, God, dude, never admit that to anyone again. <laughs> eh. Weird. <laughs> 18 months death time. And your mobile phone screens. Fuck. What the? What? Eh, it's okay. So there's quite some uh, some stuff here. Nothing really interesting. Finally managed to torrent that sweet new hexer program from this server Gollum told me about. It's so sick, can't wait to try it out. Um, right, email draft. Dad, sorry I haven't emailed you in a while. I've been really busy with school. Year 11 is hard, but I think I'm doing okay. How old is this guy? I actually want to ask for a little help. I need some new software for school. It's called ftpbounce.exe. It'll cost a lot though, and I ran out of the money you sent me last time. All this IT project software is really expensive. 2K? Oh my god. Is that my FPS? Uh, it could be actually. Yeah, okay. So, DC. Uh, let's open the email and reply. Don't need to add anything. Bitwise test. Add that one. Uh, remember, any non based programs you can need a port to run like this. Okay. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and then. What's this? Jmail. Interesting. No, we have no use to this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I have to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. And then he's known for getting on your own. You should have everything you need to get in. And there you know, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands. Hitting SSH, then tab should autocomplete it to the full name. Works for everything. Okay, interesting. So, we're going here. And do probe. Then SSH 22 and oh, look at the nice graphic. It's mine now. Thank you. Okay. Can I? No. Uh. Okay. No. But. Uh. Can I? So I opened the port. Can I now connect to it using? Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but oh wait, maybe I need to do this. No, no. This is weird. Why is this working? I was supposed to use the new SS SSH tool. This is weird. Oh.
have no idea what's going on. Hold on, let's read again. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If I add sort of like this, okay. Just want to port you with the cracker run it on it. Oh, and in case you don't know anything, I can hit that. Okay. Uh, done. Send. Okay. Let's open that one. Nice work, here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor, I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. I thought he was dead. Anyway, the point is, there are some logs on, an, uh, on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy, delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and locked in the log folder. Just go in there and remove the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks. Okay. So let's uh, probe. Oh, uh, uh, that's the thing. Okay. So we do that one, and then we do that one. Wait, what? Oh, it just was too quick. So the log. Uh, let's start with removing everything. Just so I don't forget. And, and then we'll go to the bin. Nothing. What are we looking for? Invalid path. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Laptop police report. Police number. Claim number. What's this? Uh, LS. Wait, 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 wait. Tax return check. Let's see what what are we looking for? Something in return. Some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. Just remember this. Okay, so I deleted the logs. Are you happy now? Done. Sent. Alright, if you see this, you've done well. Alright, let's uh, DC then. Oh, I was already... Just by clicking that, you disconnect from your old server and connect to a new one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright, if you see this, then you've done well. Well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. <laughs> okay, maybe it is. I realize that I've just... That I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass proxy server. A few shells open using the command shell. A few shells running on computers you've already got admin access. Oh, and should be able to overload it. Okay. Okay. Um. So. If you know some for servers, a class can challenge on shells of computers you have. It's a dog computer for open screen. Okay. So we'll connect to this one. Press shell. And then uh, can I just go there? Shell. Uh, shell. 
switch out. Ah. Uh, can I? Proxy detect the firewall detect. Okay, let's not then. Uh huh. RGP test server network education archives. Interesting. Not insufficient. Close notes to free space. Wait, what? Interesting. So that's my RAM, actually, the bar. Oh, that's nice. And then we go to port hack. Click. And now I should be in. Thank you. Shall we try that again? Uh, got a whole lot now. Not quite sure if this is uh, hackable. But we'll see. It apparently isn't. Type in terminal. Oh, interesting. Get string note. Hello. Oh, look at that. I can type fun stuff. Notes. Um, so, I'm in here. No. no. Is this... Okay? No. Too long. So this game is pretty deep zero cool. Oh my god. That's from the original hackers movie. Hack the planet. You fools bow down to me. I got mad skills and you know it. Retort. Assume you know what retort means. Let me have a say you are nothing but a scrub. It probably took you all week to work out how to smash through that proxy. I bet you're probably twelve. Thinking you can hack the planet from your mom's three eighty six. <laughs> Uh, good luck, kid. Move on and let the pros handle. Need help. Bit. If you're looking here, please come out of the shadows. Need to talk to you. Paper won't get off my case. Saying something is wrong. She's sure something's going on. Let me know. Sis. Uh, bit, please read. Oh, shit. Don't let this file to complete your induction test. Interview will be contacted you shortly. Okay. SCPE. Bum. Thank you. And everything. DC. So that's apparently the introduction mission. Um, I hope you found this as interesting as I do. I don't really like the layout of this screen, but we'll see. Um, that's it for me for today, though. I will uh, post some more of it about this later, um, if and uh, when I can, and also if I really enjoy this. Uh, for now. This is uh, quite the experience. It's interesting. It's um, maybe not that there's interesting to do a video about though, but hey, I thought let's do a video and here I went and did a video. Have a great evening.